Now, Bloomberg has learned that a former Credit Suisse employee copied and took personal data from other staff members, including details of their compensation and bank account information. The company warned of the breach, which took place some years ago in a letter to employees. Well, joining us now is Bloomberg's Tom Metcalf. Tom, I don't know what, I mean, it, it's bad, and it's bad at any company if this happens, but it just feels so much worse for Credit Suisse because they've been in the headlines so long, right? How big yeah. a deal is this? No, they just can't seem to catch a break. I mean, this obviously has nothing to do with their current troubles, but it you know, does seem to be a case yeah. of a kind of bad Apple rogue in employee at the time. Um, but yeah, no, I think it just sort of feeds into this narrative and, and it's just unhelpful, right? It's the last thing they wanted, just sort of another kind of own goal. Um, and really interesting to see, you know, right now it does seem like it's been quite contained. I think the Swiss yeah. regulator is looking at it. Obviously yeah. anything to do with personal data, I think there was some salary data in here. Yeah. It's not great, but it is historic. I think it was sort of noted in 2021, and they've had to take this long before they could kind of notify anyone else. And I think the data refers to 2013, 2015. Mm -hmm. So should put, put all that in context. Context. Mm -hmm. It's not kind of sort of systemic for them right now, but it's just very unfortunate. So what does it tell us, Tom? First of all, t talk to us about the breach. So if you put the breach into context, d does it happen at other banks? Is it employee data or is it actual client data? So what we understand from the statement is basically someone who had who was working at the bank and had access to this kind of data. Was, was somehow allowed to take it basically outside of the Credit Suisse network and you know I, I guess that's sort of a risk at you know a lot of other places uh, we haven't seen something like this at many banks for quite a while um, but yeah it's one of those kind of inevitable it's probably inevitable given yeah. how much data is out these days